<laughs> Last question, also related to storage, is a guy talking about a cheetah. A cheetah, like a little animal that runs fast? It runs, it runs really fast, really okay. fast. You know, cheetah's a really fast animal. Mm -hmm. He's talking about a hard drive that's named cheetah because it is so freaking fast. He says, I recently purchased a cheetah 300 gigabyte, 15,000 RPM drive. That is pretty fast. And I want more space. So I was thinking about buying another and making a RAID, oh, RAID 0 configuration. Would that just be overkill to get a few more gigs? And this is from one of our YouTube viewers. By the way, if you are watching our show on YouTube, know that our full videos are actually available on our website. So do be sure to check that out. Askthetechies.com. Askthetechies.com, that's right. Because what you find on YouTube are only samples of our videos, and a lot of them aren't even put up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they have that 10 minute limit thing. And no one likes that. We, like, we deal with more in depth topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, question is, and I wanted to point out the, the drive that he was talking about. Here's a storage review site you might want to look at if you're looking at the Cheetah and it talks about some of the speeds of it. But basically, most hard drives on a desktop computer are 7,200 RPM, 7,200 revolutions per minute. This Laptops are usually 5,400 or 4,200. Now, if you haven't dealt with this before and you buy a computer, they always say, like, you get a 120 gigabyte hard drive, but they don't tell you the speed. Ask about the speed because it's very important in the performance of your computer how fast that drive is. Now, on a laptop, you can't really go beyond 7,200. It'll kill your battery, and, and they're always made much smaller, so they can't go quite so fast. Mm -hmm. But the Cheetahs, are, I think, are two and a half inch drives, and at 15,000, that's double, double the speed of a typical desktop. This saves you time in launching an application. You know what slows you down in launching PowerPoint? It's not your processor. The launching time is affected by how fast your hard drive is most of the time mm -hmm. and how big the file is. It obviously can run faster right. if Adobe streamlines Photoshop and makes it a smaller package to load. But it's your hard drive speed. It is a great idea to have your boot drive, your startup drive, to be one of these like Cheetah drives or one of the other brands that you'll see reviewed in here on this uh, storagereview.com site. Um, because it can really improve the performance of your computer more than RAM mm -hmm. a lot of times. Now, they're also 10,000 RPM drives, and that's a good way to go, too. They are pretty expensive. But anyway, I digress from the question, which he asked about the RAID 0 configuration. RAID 0, for those of you who don't know, is basically taking two drives. So we'd have a, a Cheetah 300 and a Cheetah 300, mm -hmm. and he wants even more speed. Uh, apparently, this guy feels like you can never have too much storage or go too far too fast. <laughs> Is that Ferris Bueller's line? I think so. I wouldn't want to drive with this you guy. You can never but... get too much speed. And so, <laughs> how fast do you drive? Anyway, so what you got is uh, it's writing to both the drives at the same time to give you even faster read and write access. It's, it's writing to both of them. So you're, you're getting a, an added speed boost as a result of mm -hmm. that. Um, that is kind of nice, but realize if one of those drives fails, You've lost half your information. You've lost all your information because half your file is here and half of it's there. If this drive fails, you can't recover the data off of the mm. other drive. And that's the nice thing about RAID 1 configuration is it makes a, a copy. My personal feeling is you probably don't need a Cheetah 300 gigabyte 15,000 RPM drive for those other gigabytes of files that you've got. If you need a few extra gigabytes of storage, maybe you should archive some of your files. You can compress them with zipping them. Mm -hmm. That's one way to do it. The uh, other way would be to... Um, buy an external drive or an extra internal one that's a lot cheaper. You don't mm -hmm. need to go with that fast because you will pay a couple hundred dollars more for that hard drive for the for a Cheetah than you would for just a standard, mm -hmm. you know, Seagate 7200 RPM. Right, and you can take an external drive, archive it back. But if you really do want all that speed, <laughs> you could is it overkill? Yeah, I'd say it's probably overkill to do it that way. I don't think the RAID's going to give you that much of a speed improvement. You've already done a lot of what you can do. But if you're a serious gamer and you've got huge megabytes of files you're trying to read and write to, mm -hmm. I know that extra frame per second <laughs> can make a difference in your success in playing these things. So keep that in mind, I guess. I would say probably, you know, I would just put probably most of those files that are on that drive, you need extra storage. Not all those need to have yeah. fast access. Mm -hmm. Move those to a separate drive that's a little bit slower and you'll save yourself quite a bit of money. But if you got a lot of money, why not? If you've got a lot of money, click our donate button. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's all the questions we have time for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Next week, we're going to show you a way to save you some money, speaking of dough, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, show you how to save anywhere from like 70 to 400 bucks. And so you want to definitely tune in to yeah. next week. And you've got, got to do, I mentioned that, um, uh, that, that export, that nice save as. Save as and making sure your files are cross-platform and cross and cross program now right. oh, yeah. as well as your viewer questions keep them coming that's a big part of what helps this show to keep going is by sending us your viewer questions you help give us the ideas for the content okay 
For Astatechies, I'm Dealey Beard. Thanks for tuning in.